everybody. Um, welcome to a quick uh, update kind of announcement thing. Uh, for those who don't know, this week I hit 200 subscribers. I now I think I'm around, at last I looked, 209 I thought this morning. So, um, hey, I'm still going up. So, great. Uh, there's a few people I want to thank for the 200 subscribers. Um, of course, uh, the, the obvious two are uh, Sparky 107, 107, and BNSF 6951, uh, Vinny. Um, on their live streams, that's where you build your channel, and it's not by um, interrupting and saying you got so many subscribers and you need more subscribers. It's just simply by checking people's channels out, talking to them, and subscribing. That's the easiest way to build your channel through those uh, two live streams. Um, also, Vinny last night, or Friday night, giving me a shout out uh, helped push me over the 200 mark and uh, one of the other people that gave me a shout out Friday was uh, Wilmer the Indian Head Valley Model Railroad um, that was a shout out that helped me get to 200 as well so thank you to those guys also Container Man uh, 68 Roy Hardwick um, I think in the last couple Sparky chats uh, he kept pushing for me to get more subs and at that time I think it was 189 and I actually because that picked up another five or six so thanks to all those guys um, for uh, pushing me over the 200 mark and everybody else on here for subscribing and supporting the channel and my railroad I really appreciate that um, so I've done a few little bit of work here over the last couple days I'll show you that in the update but because um, I went over the 200 sub mark Eventually, the next month, I will have a contest. I have to figure out what I want to do, how I want to do it. So hopefully sometime November, I will have a contest. Um, I've kind of got a few ideas. So once I kind of figure that out, make the announcement, and I'll set, set up everything and um, do go from there. So, But I do want to thank all those guys. And also, there's three channels I want you guys to, to go check out since I'm, you know, Thanking everybody, I want to point out a few other channels. Uh, Glenn uh, McFerrin, uh, I'm going to post a link to their channels down below. But Glenn has a great railroad going. He does some fun videos. Uh, of course, Wilmer, Indian Head Valley Model Railroad. Subscribe if you haven't. Go subscribe. Check him out. And uh, Kevin Brown, who's a friend here in town, who's going to be over here maybe next week to do some run ops. Hope I get this mess cleaned up. <laughs> I'm sure I will. So check his model railroad out as well. And I'll post a link to all these guys' channel below. So uh, enjoy the little update that I have here. I haven't done much over the last day, but I did make a little bit of dent in something and get an idea where I'm going. So um, next update, I'll probably be showing you how to make the farm fence once I kind of get an idea how the measurements are and where I'm going to put it. Then I'll show you that. Don't put the cows in and the little details around the farm. And that's going to be the next scenic uh, series that I do. We'll be finishing the farm. So, uh, guys, hope you like this little update. Uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'll have maybe a run op session video coming. Of course, we're all fan videos when I get the chance. And uh, someday, next few weeks, maybe a contest to announce. I will announce a contest. It's just going to be win. So, thank you, guys. I really appreciate the support. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. All right, let's start with uh, what I've been doing the last day. Um, as you can see, done a little more work around the river area. Got the farmhouse kind of planned where I'm going to put it. Might go back just a little bit more for that step to sit down right. I'm going to have to figure that out so it sits on that gravel better. But um, here I put in some uh, more uh, foliage along this front row. Put in straighten up this frontage road made it look nice it's not really fun to road this road to the back of the barn rode around to the back of the barn uh, made it look a lot nicer tidied it up so the farm's getting there I need some trees but the first thing I have to do and what I'm gonna really do next is start the construction of the fence back here um, to put the cows in so I'm gonna take you through that probably the fence will come up along here I'll probably go back up back up around the river and back up around here and I'll probably put a tree in there fill it full of my cows I might before it's all said and done make an access little path to that as well and of course here will be the house it'll sit a little bit different than it is I might have to try to fix it in there I did make a of course a road in too uh, this is just styrene 
This worked out really nice. Uh, from what I tell, everything rolls over this. I haven't run a locomotive over it yet, but uh, this looks good. I'll have to weather it up. It's just painted styrene. I do have the gaps down here where it goes up against the track. Uh, some ballast on that anyway is going to hide that. I might put some paper or something under it run it so I can ballast over the top of it and it'll all should all blend in nicely. So um, and then I, of course went a little bit over here. The town will be over here. I've changed my ideas on that for the better. I finally got a good idea once I kind of got going what I wanted to do and I'll show you that in a later update. But uh, this is in when this was gluing I had all this sealed up. I put my building my water tower on there. They're on there but that's where they were going to go. So that is where they're going to go. Um, one thing I did do here, I put in some waves. Um, these look okay. Back here, there's some white caps. These were a little bit much, I think. I'm not really thrilled about that. Um, what happened was I thought I was dipping in. I had two sets of uh, water effects, one with uh, pigment in it, obviously one without. So when I was over here, I dipped into the one with pigment, and once you started it, it was on, it was on. I didn't know that until it dried because this stuff does have a little bit of white to it before it dries. Um, so it does look like white caps. I did put some back here as well. Um, this dried almost clear, so I did have to go back with a little bit that's white to make that foam. I have not put in my uh, cotton yet, so I still have to do that, and we'll do that as well. But uh, this is like really rapid running water. So um, you can still see it looks like water, it glistens. So you can still see back behind the rock a little bit as well. So that's okay, I like that. But just, uh, just a little bit disappointed putting those, the, the white on the river where I, where I put it. So uh, maybe in the future go back and fix that. But for now, I'll. Uh, uh, live with it but see if I come down here where I initially wanted my nice you know camera angle you can see from here there we go see that looks fine so from there I you know videos and pictures for now will be fine so just up here on the up it kind of looks I don't know it looks kind of hokey I think a little bit but maybe that's just me so for a while I'll live with it and continue on uh, with the farm guys so uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and uh, check out later updates coming up guys. So I started this farm. I'm going to show you how to do the fence. So thanks guys.